some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. I apologize in advance for my voice. I've been sick for the past few days, and therefore my voice may not be up to par. But let's get into the show. We find ourselves in Norwood, Ohio, which is a suburb of Cincinnati. With Cincinnati MC Press, a frauditor who's notorious for doing post offices and unleashing a torrent of false copyright strikes. Yeah, I'd like to see you do a false copyright strike against me, considering it'll just blow up in your face. Just ask Georgia Transparency. Anyway, he decides he's bored with post offices and decides to audit City Hall. But it doesn't go well for him considering he's trespassed and booted out of the building. And the best part about it is he turns into a whiny, blubbering crybaby about it later on. So let's sit back, relax, and enjoy watching this grown man turn into a giant man baby. Small doors. Yeah. Huh? No, not at this time. Sorry? Who are you with? Myself. Okay, you can't have your phone out. Why? Because you can't have your phone out. There's private information in here. You gotta put your phone away. Well, there's no right to privacy in public. Just like many other frauditors, he does not have the capacity to understand that there's certain areas that are not public. This is one of them. This is a tax office where there are vital documents that can be seen. So take your little camera out the door and go to some public area like a sidewalk and film to your heart's content. Do you understand the words coming out of my mouth, you gibbering idiot? Okay. How can we help you? Well, I don't need help. I'm just taking a look around. Thank you, though. Okay. This is a private department, though. Private department? There's private This is a public building. Okay. There, in this office, it's a tax office. Yeah. Okay. I know that. Okay. Can you step out of the office, please? Um... Good with where I'm at right now. You know, I've heard some things about you. That you don't change your clothes from audit to audit. If that's the case, you probably stink to high heaven. Which is probably why nobody wants to hire you. Because you stink. You should take lessons in hygiene from your fellow frauditors. I mean, you could learn something from them. Can you step out of the office, sir, please? If you don't have tax or treasurer business, I ask you this, to I do have business. Okay. I'm asking you if you need to do something in this office, if you need to... That I'm currently doing that. Okay. Do you have a question for us, or do you need us... Not at this time. I'm just taking a look around. Okay. I told you. I'm an independent journalist. I'm doing a story on the city hall today. Okay. But you don't have anything that you need in this office, right? I don't have there's to. There's information that's out here that our work that we're doing. Anything my eyes can see from public is public knowledge. Okay. It's your that. job to go and hide the paperwork. Okay. We're, we're doing our work and we are currently working on this stuff. So we're just asking you to take a step out. If you don't have any business in here to conduct with us, we're asking you to step out of the office, please. I tried to explain to you what I'm doing. Oh, frauditor. It is their job to maintain uh, the privacy of their clients from skunk apes like you by keeping the idiots with the cameras like you out of the office. That way, they can't spy on personal information. A little longer than a few minutes later. Stop. How much? Excuse me? Yeah, recording. Why can't you record? Because there's sensitive things on it's these It's a desks. public lobby. That doesn't matter. Are you? I'm Tim. Ten and yes. Ten. Hey, press the button. Right. You can't record in upstairs. There's a no phone policy right there. Well, yeah, policy. Policy doesn't trump law. Where's the law that says you can record? First Amendment. No. It's the public lobby. No, that's not. It okay. is. That is how it works. Right. Got it. 
A few moments later. We understand the law now, or just want to make sure we're good. You're not really teaching me anything. You're teaching us to take a shower. You're a little fresh. Well, that confirms it, skunk ape. Your panty do need to learn some hygiene. And if it's not your personal hygiene, you need to go see a dermatologist because I've known some people who do have an issue with that, but it's biological, not anything to do with their hygiene. But however, since you don't change your clothes that often, from what I hear, it might be that. You might not be taking showers as often as you should be. Oh, that's funny. Don't worry, we call the law. You're gonna... Oh, the law enforcement is on their way? Okay, then I won't leave, you know, because I don't want to be running from them. You said anything about yeah. we'll see you running, but we're, oh. not, we're not doing that. We're not doing that. Okay, this buddy. A, a professional office, not just a public office. It's a government it's office, which is your job to hide. Correct. But it's also my job to enforce an internal policy of no cell phone usage. That policy does not trump law. The law does not state anything, anything my eyes can see in public, I can record. What's going on, bud? Not much. Just, I'm an independent journalist doing a story on the city hall again. Okay. And then they're freaking out about their feelings. Freaking out about their feelings. Yeah. You know, it's a government building, though, and yeah, there's definitely a lot of stuff that. that goes on in here. 100%. So, what's the... Okay, Skunk Ape, go and give him all that usual spiel about policy versus law and all that other garbage. And let's call it a day, okay? Well, I didn't call you. I know, but... They did. I, I just asked for there to be no recording because of the sensitivity. Yeah, there's a lot of information. Well, there's no he right to try to see the public. Around his eyesight, so the camera does give a certain advantage um, to sensitive people. Yeah. Um, okay, you're going to have to leave this all of us. Well, you know that I'm doing a first time in protected activity, though, right? Come Do on, you want to double check with the supervisor? Come on. Are you trespassing me? They don't want you in here, then yes. I'm doing business you right now. Me recording. He is not, he is not going you can't trespass me from a public place. If you aren't going to leave, I'm going to arrest you. You're going to Thank arrest you. me? That's, yes. all, that's all I need go. to hear. That's fine. Uh, Sergeant? I think you're special. You got your ID? I'm doing a First Amendment uh, you protect your ID. Whoa. Do you this, have your... this is Felix? No, I'm going to talk over you if you're not going to listen to me. Do you have your ID? No, I do not. Then what's your name? Well, why would I give your name? What, so what law has I broken? You. So I can trust you. What law have I broken? They don't want you in here. You're being a creep. So I'm not I'm being a creep. I'm an independent journalist that exercises the I First Amendment I don't care right. what you are, and I'm a cop. Almost sounds like this officer has seen First Amendment auditors before and knows they're nothing but a bunch of antagonists. So he knows how to deal with people like you, don't let you talk over them, and get rid of you. How about that? What I'm is like, your name? I, what crime have I committed are for you to you ask Are you not going to identify yourself? What? It's failure to ID yourself. You're being... Yes, but there has to be a crime on top of that. Listen up, skunk ape. You don't need to commit a crime to be trespassed. All they have to do is ask you to leave, and that's exactly what they did. They asked you to leave, and you refused. Therefore, you get trespassed. It's as simple as that. You are being trespassed. From a public place. Yes. How, how about we because of your attitude. Go ahead and leave. We don't need your name. Go ahead and leave. Can I get your badge number, please? No. No badge number? No. Riffle? I just asked That's fine. Unbelievable. I need two officer complaint forms. Oh, but the moronic skunk ape frauditor forgot to get their names and badge numbers. Oh, but that's not going to stop him. He's going to try it anyway. And he turns into a giant moronic man-baby skunk ape. What's going on? <sighs> My rights being violated again. Okay. I'm over at the city hall doing a First Amendment audit. All right. You, you, you know me. You know what I do. All right. I'm, I'm awfully trespassed. 
asked to leave by one of your officers who got super aggressive and then wanted to try to ID me as well. Okay. So I just I would like an officer complaint for him. Was you? I mean, well, I was in public places. I did not go into any restricted areas. What kind of business was you doing? Was I was doing a story on City Hall. I was going to do a public request form, which I didn't even get a chance to do that. And you went into someone's office, or I went into the, the Treasurer Public Lobby office, and I went to every other office before that. Okay. Nobody had an issue except for the Treasurer office. All right, and you want to okay. So she'll, she'll bring me out a complaint form, okay. just fill it out, okay. um, turn it in, you know, whenever, and then it'll be forwarded to the chief. Okay. All right? Okay. All right. Thank you. Well, now, the whiny crybaby skunk ape didn't get his way. Now he's going to have to go home, climb into his bed, and cry into his pillow. I'm sure a security blanket will give some comfort as he rocks himself to sleep tonight.